Happy Hump Day! It is Wednesday and I am at the Goodwill Outlet, better known as The Bins. It is 10 a.m. right now. I usually like to get here at 8.30 right when they open, but I did have something to do this morning, so I'm gonna go in now and let's see what I find. So here is me at The Bins. As you can see, you'll see a lot of random items thrown in with the clothes. There's a plastic bag, there's some towels, but that's the fun in this. You dig through tons and tons of everything to hopefully find some gems. Ninety-nine percent of what you will see are mall brands, damaged items, nothing amazing, but I think you will all love what I did find today, which will be in my haul video at the end of this. And I'm going to be giving you a really good tip about those plastics that you just seen where people put their dry clean clothes in. I found an amazing Bolo brand in one of those today later on. Unfortunately, when I found most of my good things, I was unable to record because it's too busy in there sometimes. And when new bins come out, you have to be a vulture. My favorite spot at the Goodwill Outlet are the shoes. Here are some Mark Fisher boots that I left behind. There was just too much wear on the bottoms of them. Just wasn't excited about them anymore. Here's another pair. They are made in Brazil, but there was too much wear on the strap. That was pretty much unusable anymore. And these are some Jack Rogers sandals that I put back. They just had too much wear on the toe of them. Jack Rogers is a super great brand though. I also have two pairs in my closet right now. Some Freco Sardo booties I left behind. Really great color. I wish those were in better condition. I would have took them at heartbeat. Those are the Steve Madden boots I'm wearing right now. I find them in the bins almost every time I go, but the ones I got were from actually a normal Goodwill. I got them for $10. Usually the shoes here are in really great like shape as in they are banded together but as people go through them they come loose from the rubber bands and they're all over the place sometimes only one shoe is banded with a different shoe and you'll never find the mate but that's okay it's all in the front of the bins When I'm looking at shoes, I'm always looking at the soles. Here are some Michael Kors booties I almost got. Michael Kors shoes actually sell for me really well, but I just wasn't in love with those, so I left them behind. Always make sure you're checking for wear on the bottom, making sure there's no cracking in any of the soles or the heels, and making sure there's a size on them. You can measure them out, but I just, I don't like doing that. Here are some Eileen Fisher shoes, which if they were in better condition, I would have been so happy, but I had to leave them behind. I'm not saying that you can't sell shoes that are damaged or not in the best condition. It's just not what I personally like to do. A pair that I did pick up, which you will see in my haul, actually has some wear to them, but I'm so confident that they will sell despite the wear. These are some Bowden shoes I was thinking about, but they were just too creased for me. It was a great find though. Hmm. And here's a quick overview of the bins. And I am done for the day. This is everything in my cart before I go through it and stay tuned for my haul to see what I actually purchased. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jen and I'm a reseller on Poshmark, Mercari and Curtsy. 
And today I have a bins haul for you from the Goodwill outlet. I purchased 14 items and my total was $24 even. So that came out to $1.71 an item. So I'm gonna show you my favorite find first and end with a really good Bolo brand that you might never have heard of before. So my first item I'm going to show you is these pair of Kate Spade jeans. That is the back label. And this is the inside label, it's the Broom Street. And these are a size 30 and they're in excellent, perfect condition. So a really cool story and how I got these. I personally did not pick these up at the bins. So I'm a regular and I've made friends with other regulars and I gave one of my friends a pair of Doc Martens today. They were really beat up, the size was missing. I just didn't have any joy in them because I didn't, when I don't have a size for shoes, it's really difficult for me. So I went up to him and see, like I asked if he wanted them and he was like, yeah, I guess I could put them in my shop. So I didn't put them back, I gave them to him and I was checking out and I only found one really good brand today. The rest are just really styled. And he comes running up to me and was like, oh, look at these. And I was like, oh, they're so amazing. Like Kate Spade, that's gonna pay for your whole haul today. And he ended up weighing them, paid for them. They were only $2, but then he just gave them to me, which was such a nice gesture because he did not have to do that. This could have brought him more money for himself, his family, but he ended up giving these to me to sell. So when they sell, I'm gonna go give him a gift card to maybe Starbucks. I'm not really too sure what he's into, but I'm gonna find something to gift him um, when I see him next. So I'm really excited about these and I'm so grateful. So that's a really good tip. Make friends with the bins because a lot of us there help each other out. We'll find something like, hey, do you want this? Or they'll come up to me with something like, hey, do you want this? Do you think you can rehab that to sell? So make friends with the bins because you never know who will be able to help you out or who you can help out. I only picked up two pairs of shoes at the bins today and my first one is a really cool pair. So these are a pair of dance goes. I've never found a pair I enjoyed as much as these to pick up to actually try to resell. They're in great condition as you can see. There's a little couple of little scratches on the print but the print is so bright and heavy that you can't even see this little scratch on it. They do have some wear on the insides as you can see right here, but I don't think that's really gonna deter a buyer because it's on the inside and the condition on the outside and the soles are wonderful. So I'm really excited about these and I can't wait to try them. I initially did not have these. Another customer had them and she ended up putting them back I think because of the square on the inside. So. I'm really excited to be able to try to sell these because I had no problem with this little bit of wear in the inside. I'm really confident that these will sell and for a really good price. The second pair of shoes I picked up was from a brand I've never heard of. They're made in the USA. They're called SAS or SAS. I've never heard of it before. They're these really pretty like snakeskin print sandals. They're a comfort sandal, which I really like. I feel sells for me very well. They're in perfect condition, so I'm gonna take a chance on these. Comps range from somewhere really low, like $10 all the way up to 60, and a little bit higher than 60. So we're gonna see how these do. For a bins item, I have no problem trying something new. The first clothing item I have today is Wild Fable, which I would normally not pick up Target brands anymore, but this piece is really trendy. It's a jacket, it is teddy, it's a beautiful color, and I do look up the year in all the Target pieces. If I'm going to pick up Target, I look at the year because I will not pick up something that's older than a little over two years. So I'm gonna show you when you pick up Wild Fable and New Day, those are the two brands I usually see that are pretty trendy. If you look at the care tag underneath, there's a tiny little tag that will say Target, and they have probably the style number, but at the very bottom, they'll have a year. So this is from uh, February 2019, which I'll try to show you in case you wanna try to date some stuff you see. It's really hard, but it says 02 slash 19, so I know this is from February 2019. So I decided to take a chance on this. This jacket is just so pretty and so on trend. So we'll see how this one does. I'm hoping for at least 20. The next item I picked up is a John Lennon graphic tee. It's not vintage, but it has that vintage look to it, which I really like selling. Mostly on curtsy is where I sell a lot of my band tees, graphic tees. 
So this one's really cool. This is from Designs Inspired by the Art of John Lennon. So I want to look more into this, but this is just really cool. It's a size medium, perfect condition. It's supposed to look like a vintage tee, even though it's not, but I think this is an awesome find and I will sell band tees all day. The next piece is just a closet staple. It's Nike, it's a short sleeve, it's a sportswear, just a short sleeve top. There is no cracking on the logo, which is the first thing I look for. I will not pick up any brands that have cracking in the logo. I just don't think that's really desirable, even with like a brand like Nike. So I'm hoping for at least 15 for this. The next item I picked up is new with tags. I find so much new with tags at the bins. I just can't believe the stuff people donate. I'm very grateful, but I just can't believe it. So this is a White House Black Market size 12. It's a career dress, but it is new with tags. It's a perfect staple. So I'm gonna try this out. It's a good brand, new with tags. So even though everyone's saying career wear isn't selling, I'm gonna still give this a shot. I think this will do really well. The next piece I picked up is a brand that I've never heard of. I think it's just a boutique brand. I'm gonna look more into it, but it's called Main Strip. It's just this really pretty, like soft leopard print sweater. I love it, so if it doesn't sell, this can be mine. There is no flaws. It looks like it was never even worn before. The next piece is a brand I normally won't pick up, but this one was new at Tags as well. So, I, and it's a really great style, great wash. It's from Pretty Little Thing. And these are the light wash split hem jeans in a size 12. It's just a style so in, they're super high rise, new with tags. The straight leg is in, there's a little, just, you know, little split at the hem, something really cool. I think I can at least get 30 for these, so we'll see how these ones do. If these were not new with tags, I don't think I would have picked them up. This swimsuit I have, yes, I pick up swim in January. I will pick up swim all day because it does sell all year round. But this is from a brand I've never heard of before. It's from TYR, here's the label for this. And it is new with tags as well. This was from Dillard's and it used to be $68. It's a one piece bathing suit. So, and it still has the liner. So I always look for that when I pick up swim. I will pick up swim without the liner or with tags and it does sell, but I'm more inclined to pick up new tag swim, especially at the bins. So what I looked up at this piece, this is more of like a fitness piece. So I'm not sure if this is more for like water aerobics, but it is really flattering because it's not just a normal one piece. It has this like layer of fabric in the front. So it kind of looks like a little mini dress and it's a really pretty print. So we're gonna see how this one does. The next piece is just another closet staple. It is a Vineyard Vines green mini skirt, size six. I have a vision for this skirt, so I think it will sell. I'm gonna model this with, I have this Abercrombie & Fitch white balloon sleeve sweater bodysuit. So I feel like that with this will be a really nice outfit together to model this. So I'm hoping for at least 15, 20 for this. The next piece is a brand I've never heard of. It is new with tags as well. And it's from a boutique because that's what the tag is from, it's from a boutique. It's called Olive and Pim. So that's the tag on that. It's just this really pretty like one shoulder mini dress. So I'm just stocking up on stuff for spring and summer because we're almost at that time where people will be looking to revamp their summer closets. My second to last item is a dress for myself. It's from the brand Lily Black. I'm not too sure what brand this is or anything, but it's really pretty. I love green, I love floral. So this is for me. This is a midi dress, has the three quarter sleeves, the size small and has the wrap in the front. So I'm gonna take this for a spin a few times and then it'll be available in my closet. So that's why I love going to the bins. I find stuff, I can wear it a few times and then resell it. So my last item, this is the Bolo brand that I hope you know, and if you don't, you are going to find out right now. So this is the top. It's this really beautiful, like vintage Victorian lace. It has the pin dot sleeves with the ribbon. And the brand is Gunny Sacks by Jessica McClintock. 
So this brand is really well known for their dresses, their vintage dresses. They sell well over $100 on Poshmark. I know this is just a top and tops do not go for that much on Poshmark, maybe around $50 or so, but this top is just everything it's beautiful and if this fits me i'm gonna wear it once or twice and then i will resell it i think this was a piece that went with a skirt but there was no skirt when i found this i'm going to give you a really good tip before i end my video of how i found this this was not just thrown in a bin so a lot of people will get their items dry cleaned keep them in their closet then purge their closet with the dry cleaning um plastic still on so I always go through those plastics because a lot of people don't want to. They ravish the bins. They're looking for a lot of mall brands. That's what I've noticed. But I always look through those dry cleaning plastics because some really good stuff has been in there. So that's where I found this top. And if I didn't open any of those dry cleaning plastics, I never would have found this beauty. So if you liked my haul today, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more reselling content. I will have another video up at the end of the week and have a great day.